Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is not the Daily Dose of Jejuka, as you would have expected. However, this is a little bit of a uh, Fusion Slugs matter. We have soon, coming up, in about five or so minutes, the draw for the Fusion Slugs Internal Tournament number two. We're going to be drawing the brackets, going to be drawing the groups, and uh, we're going to be actually having a talk with our team manager here, Ben, about the structure of the actual tournament, how everyone's been preparing for it, and, of course, how to get involved. So, boys and girls, without further ado, I introduce you to our team captain. We have here on the line our lovely team captain, Ben. How are you doing, sir? I am good, thank you. Fantastic. I'm excellent. Thank you very much, sir. I tried a little bit of carrier rushing, didn't work quite so well today, but uh, what do you expect? So, tell us a little bit about this internal tournament. What was the inspiration behind the first one, and uh, what have we improved since then towards the second? Um, yeah, so, well, you know, being a clan, um, you obviously want to see how you're all progressing, uh, all the members, so... I think it's quite natural to throw an internal tournament. We decided once we started growing that we probably should do one. Um, and that was May, I think. Um, mm. And yeah, we um, it went quite well. Um, we had a bit, bit of a closer uh, range of skills then. Cause I think uh -huh. our player was only Diamond, maybe. I believe we had one Masters at that point. Guy who was a platinum or lower. Oh yeah, Captain did hit Masters during it. Mm. So, um, yeah, and basically we just uh, we we had only uh, I think twelve of us playing at that point uh -huh. um, in the in that tournament. Uh, we and we seeded our groups and had group play, and then we went into a double elimination bracket um, with. The, with, with some seeding in there, but we, we actually split the two yeah. brackets, so it was kind of weird, and then the guys who got through those brackets went into semi-finals and a final after that. So it was a little bit complicated, but we are trying to give everyone some games about giving them games against from bronze versus platinum, so we're trying to avoid that. Okay. Um, so this time, we've got a lot more people. In our plan. Um, we've got 24 uh, people signed up to play this one, and we've come up with a slightly different format, um, similar uh -huh. in a lot of ways, but it would it be even better in terms of keeping the GM, the Masters players, and Diamonds on the Bronze, and let yeah. the Bronze win everything. Then okay. they'll have to play them. Well, uh, yeah. you mentioned it's a little bit different. You mentioned it's a little bit different. How are we going to stop bronze players from playing against platinums immediately then? So what we've done is we've split our player base in half. Um, pretty uh -huh. much everyone who is platinum and above, pretty much, is uh, in one tier. Uh, that's tier one. And okay. our bronze, silver, golds are in tier two. Uh, and what that means is we're going to make groups just of the individual tiers. So we're only going to have tier one players play each other initially, and mm. tier two players play each other in the group stage. Okay. Um, so we're going to have three groups of four. Yep. Um, and the group stage is really just for seeding into the big double elimination bracket we have. Okay. Um, but the... Um, the way it's going to work is the winners of tier one will get a couple buys, so they play later on. Whereas ah. um, the winners of the tier two, they will just get a buy in the first round. And so hmm. the idea behind that is that the first round would therefore be the lower BSG players against the lower tier one players. So it won't hmm. be such a big jump; it would just be a small jump there. Of course. And then. 
whoever wins that, they will they will play the the top BSG guy. So again, that's a close skill gap. Um, mm. And then the winner of that will then have to face the higher level um, diamonds and stuff. So if you keep winning, you know, it's going to get harder. Okay, so it allows a general progression of skill throughout the tournament. I like that. Well then, I understand there are going to be some wonderful prizes this tournament. Do you have any information regarding that? Yes, um, we will be giving prizes away, which is a first. Um, this is going to be a pretty decent sized and long tournament, so um, we're going to give away three prizes. Mm -hmm. um, so the highest finishing tier two player, we are going to give them a copy of the Grandmasters manual. Uh, from SC2 SEA, uh, which I think we, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to hmm. be for. I need to work the details out there. Okay. Um, I have a good gift for those little players who are looking for uh, ideas. Definitely. And we'll be giving obviously a, a prize for the whole winner. Mhm. Mm um, and that will either be a Fusion Slug T-shirt or a cool oh, yeah. Taiwan copy. Of SE2. Fantastic. And there will also be a prize for the uh, person who puts on the most entertaining games throughout the tournament. Um, how we decide this, I haven't determined yet. It might come down to a community vote or a vote between a few senior members. Uh -huh. but, um, they will also get either a t shirt or a copy of Korean Taiwan SE2. Fantastic. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well then, sir. Without uh, further ado, I'd say it's about time for us to very quickly check out what we're going to be doing here. So, ladies and gentlemen of the stream, if you will follow me. We are now currently looking at the Fusion Slugs forums, fusionslugs.hawkeyewc.net slash forum. We're looking at the, um, the group stages. Could you uh, tell us a little bit about how these are going to be drawn, Ben? Um, yeah, sure. So we're pretty much just going to random this. Uh, um, Jed will give us a little random um, go through the names and we'll give them out one by one to the groups and yeah, pretty much that. Well, that is indeed true. We do see here, give me a moment. We do see that I have an overlay that I do not need. Now, where are you, little overlay? Where are you, Protoss overlay? Bye bye. Woohoo! No more Protoss overlay. Ah, uh, I feel naked on my stream without the Protoss overlay anymore, sir. I really do. <laughs> well, then, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. Ben, sir, have you sent me the list? Uh, yes. You should have it in your chat. So we have them right here. Let's go into our random number generator. Now, we have a series of names here in this uh, random name generator generated by primaryschoollicked.com slash random hyphen name hyphen selector. If you plan on doing any random stuff in the future, please go to this website, check it out. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo below. So, boys and girls, we see here our competitors are Battletoast, QWERTY, Drones in Jail, Mufang, Eagle, Chilla, Hegemony, Ben A.D., the wonderful gentleman we are talking to right now. Jejuka, this guy, right here. Shadow Mamba. Esk, or SK, depending on where you want him to be from. He could be of Latino origin. SK. SK, let's get it done, my friend. You can do it. And Kez. So, the first name for Group A is... Yes. 
Wow, our new plat player. Indeed. Congratulations, Kev. The first name drawn. No pressure, sir. Now, I do understand that Kes has recently been promoted, has he not? Yeah, he did. Uh, the most interesting fact about that promotion <laughs> was he was actually playing a ladder game versus Mufang, another member of our clan who should be in the list. And Mufang's diamond, so Kes was quite surprised. They hit each other, and then he won the game and got promoted to, to, to Platinum. That's fantastic. Well then, I hope that he can continue to improve. I understand a lot of the other slopes have actually made several improvements since the last clan tournament. Oh, definitely. Um, almost every player since that point has probably gone up a rank. Um, or is, is looking close at doing that. Because, um, I mean, you yourself have hit platinum finally. True uh, enough. And Crackhawk, who we'll see in the other tier, hit Platinum just today. Mm -hmm. um, we've had uh, Battle Toast go to Masters, and Drones in Jail hit the Diamond. There's, the list goes on, I, if, but these guys are really improving fast. That is a wonderful thing. Well then, are you ready for the first name for Group B? Go, go, go! The name for Group B is... Chilla! Now, Ben, would you be willing to tell us a little bit about Chilla? Who is he? Uh, yes, Chilla is a is our Diamond Protoss. Um, he's actually quite a new member of the clan um, in like the last month. Uh-huh. Uh, he joined us actually after playing Drones in jail in the Gold Platinum Diamond tournament, which Drones won. Um, That's good. Yeah, he played him in the quarterfinals, I think, mm -hmm. or semis. Anyway, um, after that, he decided that he wanted to come and join us, and he, um, yeah, helped us beat Team Knight in the Clan War the other week, I believe. A three kill finishing it off, I believe. Definitely a strong candidate for this tournament. Well then, let's remove this man from the list. We don't need him anymore. And... Go, go, go! The first name for Group C is... Mufang! Mufang, unfortunately, is... Indeed. Unfortunately, he's not going to get a chance for revenge quite yet. He's going to have to wait until at least the knockout stages for that honor. So, would you care to tell us a little bit about Mufang's recent form and how he's doing for the slope since joining? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, <coughs> Mufang's been around for a little bit now, actually. He's probably one of the more older members in terms of duration. Um, He's had quite a few appearances um, for us. He played a bit in the Fusion Slug Clan tournament. Um, he was actually quite a key player in that because he, he won um, a few key games to finish off um, a few matches. His actual record for us is four wins and a loss, so he's done very well so far. Excellent. We like that. Well then, let's remove his name from the list, and let's take a quick recap of the groups as they stand. We see here, with a quick refresh, that in Group A, we have our Platinum Terran, Kez. In Group B, our Diamond Protoss, Chilla. And in Group C, our Diamond Protoss, Mufang. Who will be joining them? Let's find out. Right now. Joining Kez in Group A shall be... Shadow Mamba! Now, Shadow Mamba, a Platinum Protoss, I believe. Would you care to tell us a little bit more about him and how he's done since he's joined the Slopes? 
Yeah, certainly. Um, so Shadow Mamba is uh, another recent um, member to our team. He joined us right uh -huh. uh, near the end of the Fusion Slug Clan tournament. Yep. He used to be a part of Team Knight, actually, um, but decided to come over and join us. Um, it's the manners. And his first contribution to the clan was to actually tell us how to beat Raptor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Handy. We're sorry, Team Knights. We're super duper sorry about that. And we love you guys. Big hearts to you. Half hearts because I've got one hand on the mouse, but you get the idea. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was yeah. We were very worried about him leading into that match because he was on a tear, and um, and, Sh and Shadow just get said a few things about matches he's played with him, um, and based on our own scouting and watching all the vods, which I do religiously. Um, yeah, it was. We had an idea, but then it didn't. We didn't end up needing it because Kez decided to beat him without us sending in anyone to snipe him. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> another, another sign of Kez's improvements. We'll get to see how he fares against the former teammate of Raptor, Shadow Mamba, in just about a week's time. So, let's see who's going to join our Platinum Protoss Chiller in Group 2. It is... Eagle! Now, Eagle is one of the more uh, prominent Terrans on our roster. Would you care to tell us a little bit about him, Ben? Yeah, he definitely is. Um, he's a diamond level Terran. Um, we only have... Um, he, we have two, two Masters Terrans, so he, he's a little bit down in uh, ranking. But Eagle is someone who's really flown up. Um, he joined us. I think he was gold. He might have been silver even though. He was silver and but got promoted to gold within a week, I believe. Yeah, and so the last two months he's hit diamond and he's a scary player. <laughs> I remember playing him when he finally hit platinum and I was and I was like, you, you're definitely better than platinum, my friend. You're doing so well. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he goes um, in this. That's it well. So let's see how Eagle can do against Protoss. We do understand that Protoss is one of his favorite matchups. So hopefully he'll get another two Protosses and be able to top his group. So time to go into group C. Who is going to join our good friend down there? Joining Group C, we have... Guess who, Ben? It's you, sir! Uh, oh, yes. Do I have to talk about myself now? Yes, you can talk about yourself and tell us why you feel that you deserve to win this tournament. Uh, <laughs> I... I don't think I deserve to at all. Okay, yeah. that's all the time we have for interviews. Let's <laughs> move into the group stages and see exactly how they're going to stand. I'm joking, man, I'm joking. You're more than welcome to keep talking. So tell us a little bit about your chances and what you've done to prepare for this tournament. Um, my chances? They're, they're decent. Um, I'm... I'm a bit of a... I don't practice as much as I should, so my, my level changes a bit from time to time, but yeah. um, I've beaten most of the players in a clan every now and again, um, so I could, I could cause some upsets. Um, if I knuckle down and practice harder, I probably should be near diamond level. Okay. That's what everyone keeps telling me. I mean, I want a GPD, so... This is there if I if I really knuckle down. But I believe I you beat a uh, diamond zerg earlier today, did you not? During the recent team night weekly. Yeah, I did just before. 
Yeah. I lost actually I lost to Mufang in that and drones. Um they took oh. me out combined. Team kill. So I guess I get to have my revenge. Yeah, because I'm in the same group as me. Good luck um, then, sir. Good luck. And he's probably going to regret just teaching me the build he just killed me with. <laughs> Fighting talk from Ben. Let's go into the Fusion Slopes forums and see how the groups are developing. We see in Group A thus far it is Kez and Shadow Mamba. Group B, Chiller and Eagle. Group C, a Protoss Protoss group so far, Mufang and Ben. So, let's see who the third player in each of the groups is going to be. Removing them and hitting that go button. It is Esp joining Group A. Oh. So, let's have a little bit of uh, information about him. Where did he come from? What does he play? What do you think he's going to do? Well, he's our first Zerg. Um, that's been a good place. Um, there's only three Zergs actually playing in, in Tier 1. Um, which is... It's kind of unusual. Our clan actually has the least amount of Zergs overall. It's, it's close, but we do have less Zergs. Um, which is so not an SEA thing. I may have some information as to why. They're all in Masters and Grandmasters? No. They're all in Bronze. Or they're all playing on Europe. Oh, yes, I went there. I thought you were at S, wasn't I? Yes, you were. You've told us that he is so, our first Zerg so far Zerg. placed. <laughs> we figured out he's a Zerg. Can you tell us a little more about him and how he's done for the clan since he joined? Sure, so he's Platinum. Um, has been since he's joined, I think. Um, he hasn't actually played too much for the clan. Um, uh -huh. No real particular reason why, just he hasn't been available on the nights, even though he's, mm. you know, so that just happens. Um, he does have a bio, so I can read that to you. Um, so Let's he hear it. He's played games since the age of five. His favourite genre is RTS. His background is an age of empires, and this has carried him into StarCraft 2. He initially played casually as Protoss. But once he saw Fruit Dealer win the first GSL, he'd switched to Zergs, and that's his favourite player. That sounds actually quite interesting. Have you considered a career in narration, Ben? <laughs> uh, no. That lovely Australian look to your accent, it just lifts the energy around you. Anyway, enough about Esk, enough about your careers, let's move on to group B. Go! We hit that button, we hit that button, we've only got a few people left, and it is... <gasps> another Zerg! It's Hegemony! Those rotating caps, they really are quite a problem when you go to pronounce a name. So, Hegemony, 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 however you're meant to pronounce this, I'm calling him Hegemony, or Hegemony. Hegemony, Hegemony. Hegemony, do 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 do. Wow, that, that is a, a brutal group. That indeed is quite a nasty group thus far. Hegemony, a uh, recent acquisition of the Fusion Slugs, I believe. So, could you tell us a little bit about him, which league he's in, and what he's done thus far in Clan Colors? Uh, very <coughs> little is the answer for most of that. Um, he is really as well. Um, he's Diamond, he's a Zerg. Uh, he was actually demoted to Platinum one this season, but then hit straight back into Diamond. Um, he was one of those guys, that, uh, we had a few, which got demoted this season. Mm. Definitely didn't deserve to be demoted, and they got instantly back up. Okay. So, uh, 
don't know what was going on there, but he's a good player, a very good player. Well, possible inactivity. Though I will say that he has been extremely active during clan training nights, and is often one of the first to volunteer should anybody want to practice game. Definitely a worthwhile moment to have inside the slopes. Yeah, definitely. He actually was recommended to us from by Captain. Um, that's how he joined us. Um, he actually got recommended a while back, but wasn't. He didn't join until just recently because he wasn't as active. Mm. Well then, Hegemony, welcome to Group B. Who is going to join Group C? With you and the ever so delightful and handsome Mufan. We have joining a Protoss and a Protoss. Is it going to be another Protoss? There's two to choose from. Me! Ladies and gentlemen, we have oh, wow. the uh, PvPvP group. This is going to be pretty interesting. Well then, I suppose it's about time for me to tell you about myself. Well, when I was a little girl, I had a dream. A dream of being a slug. And now the dream has come true. And I shall be the king of the slugs. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Because I have a secret plan. It is known as DDoS. It's not known as DDoS, it's actually just known as being very, very good at PvP. Which, unfortunately, right now is my worst matchup, so I'm not too sure about my chances. However, I'll definitely be doing my best at this. I've recently got promoted into Platinum, and uh, as you may have noticed from my stream, I've been having a lot of fun trying to uh, do different builds, different styles. But uh, it's a, an interesting concept for me to be in a PvPvP group thus far. Is there anything you would like to add to that, Sven, about my chances of beating you in this group? Do you want me... I can... I can narrate your profile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that will not be necessary. Thank you very much, Ben. Well then, Group C is shaping up quite nicely. As we go into Group A, B, and C, I believe it's about time to check these groups one final time and then let's have a little bit of music to just lift the atmosphere and have a bit of drama well there is a lot of drama because there's only three players remaining and I don't know how this has worked out this way but those three players are probably the best three slugs well Time will tell. The music you are now currently hearing uh, is provided by the wonderful people at Holiday Rain. Please go and show some love to them at HolidayRain.com, also at their Facebook page and their SoundCloud, which I will put in the doobly-doo below. Boys and girls, it's time to take a look at Dem Groups. So, Al... Three players remaining, um, just in case people aren't aware, are two Masters players, Qwerty, who's Terran, and Battletoast, who's Protoss, and the current finalist of the Team Night Weekly, Drones in Jail, who is Diamond and is probably almost Masters. Um, he, oh. won, he won GPD a few weeks back. So. So, yeah. it, it's quite convenient, however, that the final three remaining are a Protoss, a Terran, and a Zerg. Just yeah. goes to show how well-balanced our clan has become over time as we've added new and new members. And clearly the random generator is quite balanced too. Indeed, I believe so. Well then, are we going to have Group C as a Protoss, 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 Protoss group? Time will tell. Would be absolutely hilarious. Four gates galore. Boys and girls, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're, we're going to just pick Tower Room Altar for Group C. <laughs> oh dear. Four gates Altar. How I despise that match. Boys and girls, who is going to join Group A and fill in the final space? We have... Oh, it's Battle.
Battle Toast. There goes all the hopes and dreams. There goes the hope and dream of a PvP PvP group. Well, could you please tell us a little bit about the history of the overpowered toaster? Ah, oh, certainly. Um, so, Battle Toast joined us as a platinum player just as we, before we started the Fusion Stars Clan tournament, um, which means he was eligible for that. Then he hit Diamond uh, partway through and was actually worried he was too good and offered to step down and not play. Um, so he didn't play in the semi-final because mm -hmm. of that. But he did come back for the final because he realised that one, he was eligible, two, there were other diamonds playing now. And, um, <coughs> and you know, the final. So. But, um, yeah, he's now Masters. He's that sounds great. perfectly reasonable. Um, very good player. Likes his all in. Um, that he does. One thing I've noticed, he does like them. Um, although. It's my fault he knows how to do the blink for gate of stalker thing against Terran. So I'm sorry, Terran. I mean No you're not. No you're not. That build has won me many a game as well though. Thank you, Ben. As you may know, many of the slugs will actually share builds with each other. Zomega Ruffle is currently doing a video series of Zerg openings, perhaps some other race openings, which will be able to help you transition into a stable three-base play, and hopefully he'll be able to push on with extra content in the future. I'll put a link to his YouTube page in the link below as well. But enough about Zomega Ruffle, we're going to get to talk about him very soon. Joining our lovely friends in Group B, we have... Quirty or drones in jail? It's drones! Which means our final contestant for group C is going to be Quirty, 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 or Quirty. Well then, men, would you care to tell us a little bit about drones in jail first? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I've touched on he's right this second playing for $20 um, oh, really? in the Team Night Weekly Final. Um, so if you're not watching us, you should be watching that. <laughs> um, hmm. But yeah, another, he joined back pretty much the exact same time as Battle Toast. Um, uh -huh. I kind of see them as a pairing in some ways because they, they're really similar in their rise hmm. up together. Um, although Battle Toys did beat Drones to Masters, but the drone isn't far away. He's gonna hit it soon. Very I hope so. Low, just solid. Well then, speaking of Masters, we already have one in the form of a Terran Master named QWERTY. Yep. He's our other Masters in this tournament. Um, so he's gonna be taking us on, which will be interesting. Um, but I'm I Four gate okay, blink. Yep. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he he owes me one. Cause uh, we we actually I didn't realize this until yesterday, but I actually played him in my GPD win, um, and I did blink him in the last game and won to get through to the uh, grand final. He was my semi-final opponent. Congratulations. But he has been practicing very hard. He has improved a lot since then. Time will tell exactly what has become of the monster that is Quirty. Let's very yeah, quickly the, uh, check over here. Okay, group of games. The, the bad <coughs> news for all of us in group, in group C is Quirty's best matchup is TVP. Uh, he's a monster at it. I've seen him play pretty much every Protoss in our group when he be on his um, application day, and he beat them all, and he beat them all well. Well, it will be a very interesting prospect for us to try and take him on then. So, looking at the final groups yeah, for Tier 1. Indeed we should. 
Let's look at them groups right now. In Group A, we have the Platinum Terran, Kez. The Platinum Protoss, Shadow Mamba. The Platinum Zerg, Esk. And the Masters Protoss, Battle Toast. In Group B, we have the Diamond Protoss, Chilla. The Diamond Terran, Eagle. The Diamond Zerg, Hegemony. And the Diamond Zerg, Drones in Jail. Group C, quite possibly one of the more demanding groups, as frankly, I would imagine three of these matchups are going to be coin flips. We have Mufang, the Diamond Protoss. Yourself, Ben Advanced Developer, the Platinum Protoss. Myself, the Platinum Protoss, Fusion Slope's Jed Juka, proud host of the Daily Dose of Jed. And the Masters level Terran, QWERTY. QWERTY is probably going to look at this and just say, Approved. But, without further ado, it is now time to begin our preparations for Tier... <coughs> TWO! Yes, uh, um, one thing to note as well is we, the group stage is going to be GSL style. So, the first two names in those groups are the people who play first. Mm -hmm. And the second two names are the people who play last. Um, oh. Like second in the second game. So we actually have Kez versus Shadow Mumba in Group A, and and Esk versus Battle Toast. Now um, we do. In Group Kez B. Shadow Mumba should be a really interesting game. Um, mm. That yeah. Uh, and Esk and Battle Toast. I I don't know how what. Battletoad's PVZ is like. I think he's probably, knowing that he likes the all-in, he's probably got the Century Immortal thing going well. That he does. Um, I've seen him use it on several occasions. Like the winners play. <laughs> so, my tip for that group is Battletoast, just because uh, there's a reason why he's Masters and the rest of the Platinum. Um, he's going to mm. have that edge. Um, I wouldn't be surprised for him to drop games because a lot of the, the slugs are very good in general and um and these guys like Kez, Shadow and Esk are improving every day. And we also know how each other play a little bit as so True that. It wouldn't surprise me to see him drop games, <coughs> but I think the battle terms will come through pretty comfortably. Okay, what are your predictions for group B? We have Chiller versus Eagle and the Hegemony versus Drones. Personally, I feel that this group is actually one of the most well-balanced out of the lot. We have a very strong Terran whose best matchup is indeed his PVZ. His PVZ? His TVZ. And we also have Hedge and Drones who, while they're both extremely strong, they're forced playing their ZVZ in their first match. And as we all know, Zerg vs Zerg is one of the most volatile matchups in the game. It's entirely possible that drones could drop a game to some kind of cheese rush or perhaps a strong timing push in the late game. Yeah, definitely. Um, it is a great, great group actually. I'm really looking forward to those games because they all could be really close. Um, they're all good players. Um, drones will probably have the edge in ZVZ. From what I've seen, his ZVZ is strong. Um, in fact, today he just He's been a master, uh, some, well, he's Diamond, but mm. he was Masters a couple of seasons back in the Team Night Weekly 2-0 in the Winners Bracket Final, so I think Drones should should be able to win, but it, it'll be so close, and it's a coin flip, as you say, so I'm, that's a group I'm really excited to see, to see. Um, uh, it's just Especially since most of those guys are newish as well, I don't haven't yeah. can't remember them playing each other much, so that will be really interesting. That it will. Personally, though, while I do love drones and I love his playstyle, I have to tip Eagle for this group. His play of late has actually been yeah, extremely strong, and. Given he has a very strong versus Protoss and versus Zerg matchup, I feel he could actually just sneak a win out against Chilla, and then 
possibly, depending on how the ZVZ goes, he could stomp the other player. That's very true. His TVT is his weakness. Um, well, it's the one he complains about at the time anyway. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely in with a shot. Um, but they, well, they all do. It's going to be such a close group, I think. Indeed. Well then, as the epic music builds up in the background, provided to us by Holiday Rain, we have Group C, the group of great headaches. We have Mufang versus you, and me versus probably the best player in the Fusion Slugs clan right now. How do you see this group unfolding? I think we could almost pencil in Quirty. Um, as, not, as first place from this group. I'd be shocked if it wasn't that, considering how strong his TBP is, and the fact we are, um, I mean, we found Diamond, but he's only just recent Diamond, um, and we're Plat. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, if, the, the only thing that could happen is that I win. figures out his play style, in one of the games, and the rest of us just copy, and it pays off. Like that, but that's such a far-fetched thing. I think Wordy has it. Um, apart from that, um, Mufang is a great player, so I I don't I can't see me beating him. But it's PvP, so uh, it's it'll be close. Um, okay. So well. whoever's PvP is stronger on the day will get second. Do you know who I'm going to tip to win this group? You can probably take a wild guess. And if you guessed me, you'd be correct. I, unlike you, have great confidence in my abilities, and I know that I will 4-0 this group and go home laughing. Although I will already be home, which won't actually make a lot of difference. I'll go to the fridge and laugh and get myself a celebratory beverage. And with that, boys and girls, it is time for a very quick break before we come back and do the draw for tier 2. Deuces, see you soon.